Hi. The problem today is that we have a soapbox uh, car rolling down a hill. And this is the, the slope of the hill. Uh, it says that the, the angle from the horizontal is 16 degrees. And now that makes this angle here 16 degrees also. Uh, from a theorem in geometry that says the uh, two parallel lines here and here cut by a transversal, the alternate interior angles are equal. So we know that this is 16 degrees. Uh, this represents our car. Uh, there's a downward force. The downward get acceleration is G for gravi gravitational acceleration. It could be broken down into two components, one perpendicular to the slide and the second one parallel. And it turns out that the parallel one is the, um, is the acceleration we're interested in. And that turns out here that to be the maximum acceleration is equal to G, the acceleration of gravity, times the sine of 16 degrees. And that calculates out to be 2.70 meters per second squared. Now, the distance will want to change to meters. So we take the 63 feet, divide that by 3.28 feet per meter. It turns out to be 19.2 meters, which is the distance down the slide. Now, there's a formula in physics that says that the velocity, the final velocity squared is equal to the initial velocity squared plus twice the maximum acceleration times the distance, 19.2. The, uh, the initial velocity is zero because we assume it starts out at a st standing still. So we put our numbers in here, v, v sub f squared is equal to zero plus two times 2.70 times 19.2. And you come out with 103.9 meters per second, meters square per second square. Take the square root, and you get that the final velocity then is 10.2 meters per second. I hope this helps you. Uh, thank you for listening.